In this video, let us solve problems based on trigonometric ratios of compound angles. All right, so here we've got a problem which reads like this. Prove that cos of pi by 4 plus x plus cos of pi by 4 minus x equals square root of 2 times cos x. So now, if you look into this a little closely, you can see that this is the form cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b, right? So you just have to use those formulas and like go from there and see what happens. So if this is cos a plus b, so what is cos a plus b? Cos a plus b is cos a cos b, right? So cos a is cos pi by 4 and then cos b is cos x and then minus sine a sine b. So that's what is cos a plus b, right? So this comes under one bracket and this one is plus cos pi by 4 minus x so that will be cos a that is cos pi by 4 cos b plus sine a sine b right so now what we do is remove the brackets cos pi by 4 cos x and then group them plus group the cos cos pi by 4 Notice the right hand side, right hand side has got a cos, so it's most likely, I mean you can see that sine and sine are going to cancel, only cos is going to remain, so let's see what happens. So cos pi by 4 and cos x plus this sine pi by 4 sine x minus sine pi by 4 sine x. So this gets cancelled. All we've got left is this one, cos pi by 4 cos x plus cos pi by 4 cos x. That is nothing but 2 cos pi by 4 cos x, right? So what is cos pi by 4? Cos pi by 4 is nothing but cos 45 degrees, 180 degrees by 4, which is a 45 degrees. So cos 45 is 1 by root 2. So 2 times 1 by root 2 into cos x. So what we need here, we need root 2 cos x. So it's pretty simple. You can write 2 as root 2 times root 2 into 1 by root 2 times cos x. So root 2 root 2 gets cancelled and we've got root 2 cos x which is equal to right hand side. So we proved that uh, cos of pi by 4 plus x plus cos of pi by 4 minus x equals root 2 cos x. It was a pretty simple problem I'd say. All you have to do is just know the formula cos a plus b and cos a minus b and substitute and then simple mathematics here to cancel out the signs and then add these up and then of course you need to know those uh, those values of various trigonometric ratios of various angles that is cos 45 cos 90 sin 90 sin 60 and so on right so that ends this problem uh, before we end this video let's quickly solve another problem all right so here we've got another problem uh, which reads like this it says prove that uh, sine of x plus y divided by sine of x minus y equals tan x plus tan y divided by tan x minus tan y. So let's see how do we go about solving this particular problem. So all that we have to do is again nothing, just go straight forward, use the formula here, it's sine a plus b form, so same thing, so sine x plus y is going to be sine x cos y plus cos x sine y. Sine of x minus y is going to be sine x cos y minus cos x sine y, nothing different. So now what we're going to do is, now since we do need tan x and tan y, right? So that means we need to have sin x by cos x to get tan x. And then we need to have sin y by cos y to have a tan y, right? So now what we're going to do is, uh, for that, we need to divide both the numerator and the denominator by cos x cos y. So that's what I'm going to do. So dividing both the numerator and the denominator by cos x times cos y, let's see what we get. So we have sin x cos y plus cos x sin y divided by cos x cos y. That divided by the usual thing, sin x cos y minus cos x sin y divided by cos x cos y. So so let's see what happens next. So now what happens is just split them up. So that becomes sin x cos y divided by cos x cos y plus cos x sin y divided by cos x cos y. The whole divided by 
sin x cos y divided by cos x cos y minus cos x sin y divided by cos x cos y. So here cos y cos y gets cancelled, here cos x cos x gets cancelled, here again cos y cos y, here again cos x cos x. So what do we get finally? Sin x by cos x which is a tan x plus sin y by cos y which is a tan y divided by sin x by cos x which is again a tan x minus sin y by cos y which is again a tan y. So that's all it was, pretty simple problem. So nothing very complicated, all you had to do was just remember the formula, the compound angle formula sine of a plus b or sine of a minus b and so on and so forth. And then of course you need to know, you know, the ratio sine by cos is tan and uh, the reciprocal of tan is cot. Now we imagine now what would you have done if there was cot x plus cot y and so on. You just had to divide it by sine x sine y, that's all is the difference. Because cos by sine is going to give you cot, right? So that's how we think as far as trigonometry is concerned. There's no, again, I'm repeating, there's no hard, fast rule. You know, this is the, you know, there's no, like, this is the way to do it. So it's just, as you go, you need to discover methods. And by experience, you're going to know a lot of things. You know, when you see a problem, you're going to know, okay, how to start off solving it. So that's it. That ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on trigonometric ratios of compound angles.